Hey guys, it's Torgadork here, and today we're playing Seven Days to Die. So, I heard a little. There he is. Stop moving. Ah, oh, you bastard had to move. Let me put a bolt in your head. <sighs> yeah, he's probably far enough away. So, those who aren't uh, familiar with uh, Seven Days to Die, it is a zombie survival um, game. And you collect resources and then you build a base or you can go nomad. Um, which actually... Um, I've built a base before, and then I've also tried doing the Nomad, and the Nomad's actually not that bad. Like, obviously, I can't, like, build, uh, weapons, or, uh, oh, right there. Don't look at me. So that guy there, uh, he was, uh, I think it's a spider zombie, he screams a lot, and when you kill him, he screams, and screaming attracts all the zombies in the area, so like, he's, uh, that guy, he had, must have had a short memory. Um, I forget what I had set the rules to, I think I just went with the advan uh, adventurer, um, adventurer, uh, level of difficulty because I wanted to at least survive so you get some good footage, footage of this uh, game but yeah let's actually get a few more sticks so yeah this is oh, I got some grass this is a uh, survival game you collect resources and then you build stuff and you can see on my uh, bottom left, I've got the uh, I've got all my uh, health and hunger and stamina and thirst. Actually, did I pack any food? Uh, I got soup. Where are they? Okay. So right now I'm just... I found actually a fairly neat spot to set up. So uh, I'm just collecting the resources. I should also note that like... nothing on them. Yep. Okay, just doing this quick little supply run and then we'll go check out my very oh on the road. My very shitty base that I've got set up. Ooh, paper. The Daily News flu epidemic. So I guess uh, this everyone uh, had the flu when the zombie apocalypse happened. <coughs> Just give me a sec here. Hopefully, I, oop, there's a rabbit. Wasqui wabbit. Uh, let's see. Can I get him? Oh, you bastard! Moved. Don't move. Don't there. Gotcha. The poor, poor little guy. More feathers for the bow. 
Let's skin myself up with some rabbit. Make some hot and pepper. Yeah, I know that attracts zombies. Um, I don't know exactly what's up with this. Like, I know the the story is that apparently uh, it looks like there's buildings back there. So, oh, that wind looks very uh, sounds very uh, menacing. I don't like it. Is there any cake? Nope, no cake. Oh. Good to know that the ruined side of the desert, I guess, has fuck all for stuff. Well, I don't think I'll be checking that out. I'll see what this car has. Woo! Another rabbit right in the top. Um, oh, shit, wrong button. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. Lastly, Wabbit. Come back here. Where'd you go? There, I think. Oh. Had to move. Let's get the wood. And. Um, maybe cut. No, no, I'm. It's not even lunchtime. For day three. Come on, let me get the stone. I don't see the rabbit anymore. He lives. Oh, there he is! Is that garbage now? There he is. I can't see him in the grass. Ah, jeez. Make a fairly poor hunter. I actually might check out those houses because they look a little interesting, but I think I'll leave that for another day. Um, yeah, piss off. I know you're hungry, but you won't be eating me. some sticks. Uh, that's actually the one thing I like um, with the crossbow is it actually does a fair amount of damage. Like this pistol, like I I think this pistol will do more damage if I threw the entire thing at a zombie. Because I, I shot a zombie like three times in the head and I hate those wasps. Bees, like I like the honey and whatnot, but oh my god, and they put the buzz sound in the thing, and it freaks me out every single time. I get it, I hear it, but yeah, the uh, the pistol sucks balls. Uh, the only advantage is I can shoot like 15 zombies in quick succession, where the crossbow it has to reload, obviously, after every shot. Come on. Uh oh, I think. Oh no, I, I still got some room. Okay, so let's head back to my base. I might come back here eventually when I get a better axe. Did I get this guy? Yeah, I did. What was in there? Oh, nothing. Oh, I didn't check this one. Okay, so let's go back to my shitty base. 
my shitty 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 base. But yeah, the uh, the advantage uh, with the crossbow is that it pretty much if you get a headshot with a zombie while you're sneaking, I don't know if it works if you're not sneaking. Um, it instant kills them. So the and plus the crossbow is quiet, so it doesn't attract any more of the uh, zombies. So. So yeah, I really like the crossbow, and the crossbow is easy, but like very easy to like. You see me getting all those aged wood and stones. And you saw, like, I had a crap ton of feathers going through the bird's nest. That's all I need to resupply for the uh, crossbow. Like, um, I was down to uh, two shots uh, the night before, and uh, I had just spent the entire night just making more bolts. For so, uh, it sucks that you can't retrieve. You can't retrieve the bolts at all. Like, or even if they had a 50-50 uh, uh, chance of, like, breaking where they're, then they disappear. Because, like, if, like, there's been a few times where I, you saw with that one zombie where he's just swaying one side to the other. There's nothing in the Swaying one side to the other. And I had missed, and there's no way I can retrieve that, which I guess that's sort of a good thing, because then I'd have to go hunting for it and lose precious time getting resources together. Oh, I gotta eat something. So yeah, um, this is my shitty base. I was already walking by it a little bit. Um, I sort of want to try and make a base out of this bridge. Um one idea I had because I know if I don't make myself accessible to the zombies uh, they'll just start hitting the supports and if the supports get hit here they'll uh, the whole thing will fall apart like some of the concrete because I guess the metal trussing underneath uh, uh, wasn't uh, underneath it the uh, floor uh, fell out under me which uh, that was a little bit uh, interesting, but uh, one idea I had was that I'd have like kind of like a corral, so the zombies would have to come in here, walk all the way this way, then this way, and this way, and by the time they're doing all that, they're um, they're walking on the wood spikes. But uh, yeah, so oh, I left my door open. That's not good. I think this is down in the States, but that probably wouldn't be a big issue if uh, up here in Canada, but, okay, um, oh, I've got some murky water to purify, as, I thought there was actually a winner spot here. Uh, like, I'm not even familiar with the map at all, so there probably is, and I just don't know it at all, so. Pulled rabbit. Cool. I have to say about this desert biome is those cactuses they freak me out sometimes because I think they're a horde of zombies and um, I think it was yesterday I was uh, doing just like uh, what I was doing before just hunting around for stones and uh, wood and there happened to be a l very large horde coming by that was also the uh, same time my uh, airplane. Oh, I don't want to hit that. That was a same time. What the fuck? Oh, I'm hungry. Shit. 
Eat something. <coughs> My god. You're quite the pussy. Get a little bit hungry and you, uh... Actually, I've got some rabbit. I should really eat the rabbit instead of the cans, because the cans I take with me on trips without, uh... Without... Where's my rabbit? There it is. It's doesn't really look that great, but... Oh, well. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I got coffee, too. Caffeine buzz. Sweet. Oh, actually, I should probably grab that axe. So, yeah. This is my shitty base. It's pimping. I actually kind of lucked out because I just walked over a hill and kind of saw this place. And it looks pretty strong. Um, this was my first experience with the... Um, the traps. I did remove this, um, but I, at first, I, I figured I'd be smart and kind of do the uh, jump across, but uh, this guy kind of stopped me and I kind of got down to half health before I was able to get out. And then there's this batch here. So, yeah, so let's continue digging the trench. Um, I don't know if actually um, I want to do a trench all the way around this place and then maybe do the corral later, but yeah. So um, what I'm doing here now is I'm slowly building a uh, trench that the zombies get stuck in and then come the morning I'll come out here and then give them a good whack with the, either the crossbow or the uh, my barbed club barbed wire club um, I also did have a few ideas to um, actually st uh, salvage all this because like it's got all that scrap metal wall and then I figured I'd just fortify the bridge um, could do that. But I want to also sort of get better tools for the job because right now this axe kind of sucks for well, anything except for like dirt and twigs and grass. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was something I could pick up. Guess not. Um, Actually, that's one thing. Can I build a forge yet? Or do I need to find a book? Um, ladder, wood window. Oh, secure uh, old bed, coal torch, gun safe. That's a lot of forge steel or hard metal. Secure door, iron bars. Like I can build all this stuff. I don't have all this. That's actually uh, one thing I'd, because uh, uh, from what I got through my first uh, playthrough, like you can't go on the wiki and just start building everything. Um, you uh, you actually have to iron frame. What am I looking for? Ah, uh, the forge. The forge. That's an F. So yeah, uh, the first time I played through, um, I didn't have all the recipes, so I had to hunt through uh, for books or whatnot. But one neat thing I think they should do is, um, along with an actual character creation um, bit, is um, they actually you can pick your history so like if you're a construction worker you know how to work with all the recipes involving concrete and whatnot if you're an iron worker you're you know all the forge recipes or something like that and if you're like a cook you know 
all the recipes to make it so you can make a soup a ha hassen pfeffer instead of boiled rabbit which would probably taste a little bit better um where the frick is the uh, search for there it is i need eight stones oh and i don't have the i don't think i have uh the iron pipe i think that is that's a uh, one annoying thing um that I don't like is uh when it has all the it like shows the images of all the stuff but you can't mouse over it to like see what's the actual description of the thing cuz there's a few recipes it's like okay I see all that what the heck is all the uh ingredients that I need and oh haha perfect I'll make a forge, and then I can, Ooh. I've got a little bit of scrap iron, and then I could probably make a shovel, that would work out a little bit better. So. Oh, and the one stupid thing um, I found with this that I've done multiple times is um, I had rabbits, uh, I had skinned rabbits, actually, I should get these guys cooking. I had, uh, one, two, three, I had some rabbits, and I figured, like, you know, in Oblivion or in uh, Minecraft, how if you just toss it off to the side here, and before I actually do that, I'm going to put them there, um, it would just drop it down below you, and I figured I'd do that, and then go clear out that campsite that uh, we just passed earlier um, and I cleared it all the zombies and then when I went to go grab my rabbit um, I couldn't find it at all like nothing and I I went right by a rock so I'd know where it would be later and yeah not there so I guess and I've noticed too like I had a second uh, a second club here and um, I had tossed it by mistake and um, actually I clicked on um, my crafting or my uh, I forget what I did but anyway I had clicked somewhere on the tabs for the uh I had I always hit the wrong one. Um, but I'd clicked and I'd lost that club, and I'm like, shit, because that was a fairly high damaging club. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to do was the, uh, the forge. Uh, do I want to? What do I want to do? Yeah, no, I'll make that. I'll make this my base, my pimpin base. I'll put a big high rise on there like second floor right there these frame um, iron yeah I beams they don't look like I beams but the I beams would uh, uh, would create good a good strength and then if I did a couple I wonder if I tear those down if it's going to just give me the scrap metal and some wood or it's just going to give me nothing, or if it's going to give me the actual fence, and I'll do kind of like a a, curt a couple curtain walls protecting the base, and then, yeah, I think I'll do that. Ooh, what the... Holy fuck! That's a horde. That is a very big horde. <coughs> oh, ow. S stupid little. Shut the door. There's a ladder. 
Get up here. Ooh. Oh, fuck six. Oh my god, that was close. That sounds like a lot of zombies. Oh, yeah it is. Got the big guy. Oh, stupid lag. This is personal! <laughs> Holy lag. Stop messing up my shit, bro! Oh. Hello, bitches. <laughs> Well, that was an uh, interesting ending. And where is the big fat boy? Oh, bastard. Oh well, the last time I checked on a fat boy, he only gave me a six, uh, very, uh, six. Oh, shit. Don't tell me you're actually in my place. They're in my place. Who? Oh, did I leave my door open again? The frick. So, here's the lesson of the day in a zombie apocalypse. Close your doors! Alright, this is Torgadark from Subject Neutral. See you in the next episode.